Okay, we're ready for part two. We want to add 1.5 grams of sodium nitrite to this solution and stir it until it dissolves. Here's the information for sodium nitrite. Okay, formula weight's kind of hiding off there. Then in a, in a separate 400 milliliter beaker, we have 25 milliliters of water and about four ice cubes. We want to add five milliliters of concentrated hydrochloric acid to that. Here's the information for hydrochloric acid. So that's the concentrated solution. Then what we want to do is pour the sodium sulfonylate solution, which is homogeneous, it's a little colored, into the 400 milliliter beaker that's uh, containing the chilled hydrochloric acid. And we're going to uh, put that then into this uh, grungy ice bath. Okay, so there's some ice cubes and water in here. We want to keep that cool, all right? So I'm just going to pour this whole thing in there along with the stir bar in there. And with all that ice, both in the reaction and in the ice bath, we're really making sure that this remains at a low temperature, ice water temperature, zero degrees Celsius or so. Um, not sure if you can notice it, but it's starting to change cloudy as the um, diazonium salt begins to settle as a white solid. Now in some amines, some different, uh, some different substances, the uh, diazonium salt is a shock sensitive uh, explosive and it can detonate um, if it's at too high of a temperature, but this is known to be stable and, and so on and we're operating at a low temperature, so we should be okay here. So you can see a very uh, nice white precipitate there, okay?